So how would you go about making relationships with the people that work at the stores? The, because that's got to be see, the ultimate plug that's the right easiest there. easiest. Everyone work. you meet who works at an Apple store is a fucking infinite exactly. fountain of and money. And guess how much they're getting paid? $300 a week. Mm. So you ain't trying to take this $100,000 a month? Mm. What you trying to do? So how you get those people is, I was getting cars, Lamborghinis, all that type of shit. You pull Now, you don't have to shoot straight at them. Sometimes you got to build a relationship. You might pull up on them in a lamb or something and... Like, I'll catch a motherfucker at the gas station, right? You'll see them struggling. They'll be like, can I get $5 on this pump? Whole time, I'm already knowing who this person is and everything. But you might put a couple thousand in their pocket. You got the land. They see the all, all around vision mm. of their life living like that, too. You feel me? And as long as they become comfortable, then that's where you can make the play. Like, yeah, I, you know, I could put you in a better position, this and that. This is like when you're watching The Wire and they got Stringer Bell and he's got yeah. like little kids in the project selling crack for him. Yeah, it's, it's real, bro. It's real. <laughs> you're that dude, but you're dealing with Apple yeah. Store employees. No, like, it's just like like on the dark web. I wasn't never just a person to get on there and look for little cards and CVVs. If I'm going to get on a dark web, I was trying to become the vendor. Mm. I was trying to finesse everybody who bought from me. Like, okay, for instance, if you're a vendor on a dark web, most likely you might have a thousand CVVs, which mm -hmm. is credit cards. Okay, boom. Now I might sell two hundred of those credit cards. Might be good, and the rest of them fucking dead. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred is dead. But I just made like ninety thousand mm -hmm. dollars. You get it, even if it's small amounts, it still add up quick but in one day. If you're vending on the dark web, don't you depend on your reputation? Yes, that's do, if you, you want to. Be, but you can on a dark web, bro. You know, okay, you know. Where it says, uh, when you go to look at the reviews, uh -huh. you know you can buy those. Oh, okay. So if you're a real scammer, you would know this. You would know that, man, I'm going to have to shoot my reviews up. I'm going to shoot this up, have everybody buying for me, and make $100,000 and close this account down. Why do you think every time you get on a dark web, the sites are steady changing? Mm. I've because never been it's a big, on there. Heard a lot, it, Well, no, I'm not saying you. I'm just right. saying when people do, sites always changing and stuff like that because of people do that. Just like the... All this shit is a scam. Like when you go to a hotel, bro, and you put your shit in there, hotels, companies, and stuff like that, they sell your information to bigger companies like that. They call corporate companies the whole time they work with the dark web and shit. Right. Okay. Me? So you basically like figured out some of these scams and then you just get a whole shitload of employees and they could all be carrying it out. But isn't the problem that you're all doing all this shit within like a very small area or are you no, sending no, no, people no, no, out no, on no. trips? You don't, you don't do it in one area. You right. have to, you have to, okay. First of all, you have to deal with professional people. Which you has got to be tough. It's very tough because they, when they get up to like the manager position and all that, they do not want to be playing. Mm. But like I said, bro, that everybody has goals and dreams and they look at it like, I just don't want to be the reg regular working person. I don't want to be working anymore. So they think like, damn, I could actually start a business. I could actually do something. Mm. You know, I'm getting scammed. And you know what I'm saying? I'm working a job. I've been working here. I'm still not rich. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's how I thought. That's what made me get on what I was on. You Who told me? on you? Basically, a person, actually a friend, bro, a friend that I used to hang out with. Once you start making money, people get envious of you, right? Mm. So, like, let's say if you ahead of me with, let's say if you got 500000 and I'm, like, 50000 in, and I pass you up, and I, I'm still cool with you, but I don't hang with you no more, mm -hmm. and you get jammed up. Basically, you don't tell me you get jammed up and I still fuck with you back and forth. And then you, t I'm the bigger fish now. Mm. I'm not, if you, if they get into it with you, like, oh man, who you know that's a bigger fi person that's, you could tell them, oh, Ben McEvoy, he a rapper. And, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. Now they get to watching you, paying attention to you and this and that, and you get bumped. Mm -hmm. But if it wasn't for a, see, that's the only way you can really get caught with the shit, a person telling on you. Really? Because you could be in on 60th floor with 10 fucking laptops making, $20 million and wouldn't nobody know. But if you start involving people, that's when people will know mm. what's going on. Because that's always like the dream is you want to be able to sell drugs or do fraud or whatever, but not have to get anybody Selling else drugs involved. is dangerous. Mm. Selling drugs, like some people sell drugs because they want the street stamp. They want to be like, oh, I'm a street guy and this and that. But that's not really where it's, okay, you taking the risk. You got to, you have to sell drugs. You got to meet up with a random person. Then you got to re-up. Mm. I don't have to do anything. I just got to basically get me a car with no money, no investment, and come up. Mm. I could be on the floor. Yeah, it's crazy because when you think about it, like drug dealers are basically 
getting drugs and they exchanging it for money with fraud exactly. the whole business is money man you don't even you can honestly not need anybody you can sit in like i said in your penthouse mm. and not need nobody and run up 60 million dollars right you feel me so you don't know many people who have gotten caught actually doing the transactions or doing the atm no, shit it's no, tough to get caught no, huh? no i don't i'm gonna be honest i don't know i don't know nobody i've been scamming since 2009 uh -huh. i don't know nobody that have actually got caught doing the only people that gets caught is the people that that um okay let's say if you scam a person and you don't pay them mm. they get pissed and tell on you they i seen people get caught like that but just don't the banks they don't care if you fuck them over because they feel like you need them mm. banks feel like you need them you know what i'm saying so they're like oh if you fuck up the account that's on you right Shit, well, you need us. You can't do shit without a banking account. Almost everybody that you ever did this with, though, do you feel like they didn't have irreputable damage under their credit that they basically ended up getting the shit cleared see, out? Look, or look, do you think it does happen? See, with me, all right, and sh well, I'm going to say Chicago. We know so many people that fix credit, that doesn't matter. Mm. So if you do a bank, they're just going to take the shit off. You get a loan for $100,000, they are going to take it off. It's insurance scams. Mm. Like, Chicago, we busting, bro. We doing it all. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's basically like, and really, like, I don't, it's a lot of scammers out here, but I don't see it. I have to I have to know if you're a real scammer by looking like, oh, that dude a real scammer, bro. How can you tell? The the income, the clothes, the how they living, what they driving, mm -hmm. everything. Because yeah. scammers make a lot of money, bro. Right. Then it's, it's, you make so much money, it's hard to hide the mm -hmm. wealth. You feel me? Mm. And then it being like I said, you know, money brings connections. It brings bigger, bigger and better things. You just taking two million, investing it in this, and doing this, and you going in with shit with this. So you, you know? had official, like, real business investments going on, yeah. off of the before you went into prison, basically, yeah. Really, and yep. are those things still around? Yeah, you, still around. Okay, yeah. car business, all real estate, everything. Right. I just link up with people and invest in this and that. I just turned into a big investor. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't get a shitload of money confiscated by the cops or whatever when Man, you got caught. Man, they took. They took a few cars. They took like four hundred thousand dollars cash, um, jewelry. Like they took like two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry. They took a lot of stuff. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? But like I say, like I still, I was doing what I was doing. I was paying taxes. Right. So it's certain things that you still can't take because I'm showing proof that I, you know what I'm saying, that I was paying this because I was doing music. You feel me? Right. So I was just paying taxes and stuff like that. And my credit was amazing. The government told me, like, man, yo, this guy's credit is way too high. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, he can't. So now I can't get credit. They was like, you can't get credit cards. He can't do this. He can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So Were, were you rapping all along or did rap start because no, no, you no, were having so much No, no, no. I started rapping success. in 2013. Oh, okay. Much later. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, shit, I want to be like the first person that's Cause everybody looked down on scamming, you know what I'm saying? At that time, like, man, yeah. scamming, man, that shit. You heard? I don't know if you have you ever heard uh, Rick Ross song? He was like credit card schemes for the faggots. Oh, you ever yeah. heard yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that really made me turn up when I heard that shit. But that used to really be the stereotype is that yes. it was just gay dudes I'm doing like, credit yeah. card scams. I said okay, I turned up on that shit. I, I'm like, I'm running these meals. I'm like, I'm gonna I'm 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 tell. I'm gonna say one day I'm gonna look the man in his eyes, G, and tell his ass like. I remember you t you said a line, man, and yeah. I ain't never. I just ran it up off you on that, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. Rick Ross being old school right there, man. Yeah, nobody yeah. wants to sell crack no more. Nah, nah. <laughs> I was locked. I'm telling you, bro. Everybody that I was just locked up with had all had life. Right. And like as far as like, you got the scammers, then you got the drug dealers. Man, they was like, man, I wish I did what you did, little little bro, and woo, -woo. you know what I'm saying? Right. Because I got the most money in here, and I, all the scammers had a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but I had the most. And the drug dealers, they was all fucked up. You know, they people weren't reaching back on them. And do you, you know, even know dudes on the street who are really rich off off drugs these days, or is the game kind of fucked up in that sense? No, nah, I'm gonna say I don't. I don't really know too many rich drug dealers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know no rich drug dealers. It's interesting because when I think about the drug dealers I know in LA, are basically just dudes who go around to different studios or kick it with different rappers and just yeah. sell them fucking perks and and lean yeah, and whatever the yeah, fuck yeah. it is. I don't really know no. Like, I know people that are probably do what I do and invest. Like I say, people will want to be the street, want to be the drug dealer so bad, they will do what I do, then invest in drugs, which is backwards because you still got to re-up. Mm. You might as well just stick to this lane. Right. You feel me? But I don't, I guess that's what they want to do, but you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I wouldn't do that. Was was getting all the credit card stuff, were you just doing that strictly off the dark web? No, nah, I was having people... Um, 
at stores and shit with the MSRs and shit like that. You know, is what that mean? where you put the little piece on the credit card reader so that yeah, then at the so end of like, the day they could have like a collection of thousands of numbers? Yeah. So basically, you walk inside of a um, uh, Ruth Chris, mm. and you know, you hand your card and. They act like they finna go in the back and basically had double swipe it. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. them the high balance credit cards. It's best to put them in business places, not no McDonald's and all that shit. Right, because you it's, want the high end shit. Yeah. Right, right, bro. And then like skimming. You ever heard of ATM skimming? Where you, you is that where they have the little piece attached to the ATM shit that like will just store yeah, your they, number and they have the camera that records you yes, putting the pin in. Yes. Oh, so man. you'll I used sit to in the car. That. You'll sit in the car. You know what I mean? Like it'll be Bluetooth, and you know what I'm saying. You'll collect all the data and stuff from it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean it's. All types of shit, you know what I'm saying? It's all types. Right. But like when it comes to scamming, like that's why I like I listen to scam rap, you know what I mean? But as far as I didn't rap about scam rap before I went in because I was hot, bro. You were way too I was too shit. I'm really in the federal I'm really on probation right now. Uh-huh. You feel me? Like I'm not playing like this is real. Like I don't I wouldn't make up a story and say, Yeah, uh, I was just got snatched by the feds and no, I really got snatched by the by the feds. A hundred black trucks was outside. Real FBI shit came, you know what I'm saying? Kick the door and get down. And I'm like, damn, this it was it seemed like fake. You know what I'm saying? 